Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel. And I get a lot of requests of people uh, wondering if um, their, first of all, if their CPU is or not affected by the Zen 2, uh, by the Zen Bleed attack that is uh, for Zen 2 processors. Um, and there's a lot of different processors that are affected in this um, architecture. So um, you have, of course, the uh, Ryzen 3000, uh, 4000U or H, the uh, Ryzen 5000U, Ryzen 7020, um, and the IN Threadripper 3000, uh, and Epic Server processors are affected. Um, this is the, um, the thing about um, the processors and, and their microcodes that are coming this fall. Microsoft, uh, Microsoft AMD did say that, you know, they will have updates available. Now, there are um, a couple of ways that you can mitigate this, but for those that are, are kind of worried and thinking, what well, what should I do? How should I, you know, how can I fix this? Um, and basically, in the future, you will have an update that will happen that will actually fix the problem for the most part. Um, the thing about it is it's like every other security flaw. Remember that for this to be exploited, you have to do something. It doesn't happen on its own, and it's not because your PC is turned on and on the Internet that it is vulnerable. It's vulnerable in a specific way when a specific set of code is sent and that can exploit the flaws of uh, Zen 2 CPUs. For this, for this to actually um, just you know be safe and stay safe, if you have that flaw, it's simply or uh, simply using the basic security skills, you know. And I'm not talking antivirus; it's useless. I tell you all the time. People that rely on antivirus are the ones that get bitten by virus eventually. What you just need to do is be careful not to click on anything, uh, any links you don't know about or any attachments that you don't know about in emails. Just being careful where you go on the Internet, not downloading illegal stuff, going on to uh, you know, websites where you get hacks for games and stuff like that. These are all places where people all get bitten at some point by malware, and that could include the, the, the code required to um, you know, get... Uh, or impact the Zen 2 CPU, uh, CPUs, basically. So what you need to do is just be careful because that's the number one security with the Windows updates, with the updates of every system, Linux, Mac, um, and Windows. Plus, you being careful is 99.9% .9 of all the security. So just being careful is enough. There's no... Um, you know, there's no going crazy over what there's a flaw in my PC and I might actually get infected. If you are getting a Zen bleed issue and uh, are, are exploited, it's because you did something. It's as simple as that. It doesn't happen on its own once again. So by being careful where you go, what you click, what you do, and keeping everything up to date, chances are very small that you'll get bitten by this. But of course, when the updates are available through your vendor through your pc maker and so on for this it's important that it will be important to apply it to just maximize the security risks if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching